Hey gang, it's Pastor Phil. It is Tuesday morning. I hope everybody's doing well. I want to uh, read a psalm to you and just have a few minutes of uh, meditation time. This is from uh, Psalm 122. I'm sorry, 121. I'm confused as usual. Psalm 121, I'm going to read most of it, um, but I want to focus on a couple of verses specifically. And as always, I really encourage you to pick up your Bible, open it up to Psalm 121, and uh, read it with me. Read it after you see this, but read it and pray it through. So 121, starting with verse 1, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? And we know the answer to that. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. Israel meaning the people of God. So we are as much Israel as the people of Israel were back then when David was writing this. We are, the Bible says, the children of Abraham, the children of the promise. So where does our help come from? It comes from the Lord. Why are we looking up to the hills? Well, you might argue Today, we are looking at hills, not just up to the hills. We're looking at hills that are difficult at the moment with the coronavirus, with being separated from each other, being in isolation, rather than being together in church. So where does our help come from? We know that it comes from the Lord, and he neither slumbers, he neither sleeps. The Lord is your keeper, it continues. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not <clears throat> make you, will not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. He's got us covered. And then again in verse 8, the Lord will keep your going out, your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. For me, this is one of the classic psalms of hope. It's a song, it's entitled a song of ascent, of going up. And I mentioned this once before in a sermon, and you may or may not remember it, but a song of ascent is a song that was sung between groups of people as they were ascending up the mountain to go to worship at the temple. And the people would have sung this to, to keep themselves, A, I guess, occupied. But more precisely, they would have been singing back and forth, as, as we do in liturgy, to encourage themselves to remind themselves and to remind each other why they're going up the hill, why they are being called the children of God. It's because from the Lord we receive everything. The Lord is not asleep during this time of crisis. He's not slumbering. He's not blind. He's aware of everything that's going on, and he invites us to come up the hill to worship him. Don't be afraid of the hill. Don't be afraid of the mountain that we're looking at. He's on top of it, and he calls us to worship him to bow down to him, and to trust him. Let's have a word of prayer together. Gracious Father, we come to you today, uh, and it is a scary time for us, for our country, for the world. But you're on top of this. 
You know the beginning from the end. You created the heavens and the earth. You call us up to worship you. Lord, I ask you to bless and keep all of my brothers and sisters. Give us true faith by your Holy Spirit. Remind us of the saving power that comes through the blood of Jesus Christ. And Lord, as we look forward to Holy Week, we ask you especially to calm our hearts, to give us encouragement, and to remind us, Lord, that while we may be apart physically as your people, we are joined together to your heart. It is in your precious name, Lord, that we give thanks. Amen. See you again tomorrow, God willing.